Hey, have you guys ever wondered where sloths go boom boom? Yeah, well, me either, but stick around and find out. What's going on, you guys? It's Brandon Camilo, and this is my Art Cyclopedia, your delivery service of mildly mediocre visuals and knowledge that you most likely already know, but hopefully don't. And before we get into the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for updates on future posts. Also, also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Brandon Camilo Art and on TikTok under Brandon Camilo Art to keep up to date with art posts and just general life stuff. Now, let's get into it. Sloths. These lazy mammals are basically the Gudetama of the animal kingdom. It goes without saying that sloths move very slowly. These animals have the adaptation of super duper low metabolic rates and also crazy low body temperatures for mammals, 86 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit when active. But there are a lot more interesting things about these little lethargic loafs. So without further ado, I'm going to get the knowledge train going and here are seven facts about sloths. Number one, there are two types of sloth. Although there are six distinct species of sloth in the world, they are more commonly separated by their number of toes. You have three-toed sloths and two-toed sloths. Sloths can be found in the jungles of Central and South America and move at an average rate of 40 yards per day and sleep anywhere between 15 and 20 hours per day. Imagine trying to crawl across a football field and that takes you like four hours. You don't even make it halfway and then you just, you know, you just decide to call it a day. That's pretty much kind of why sloths are named sloths. Number two, sloths poop once a week. Given their low metabolic rates, sloths only need to go poop about once a week on average. The interesting thing about this is that for some odd reason, they need to climb down from the canopy of the rainforest, dig a hole and do a little dance to then poop. It's very common for sloths to poop in the same spot every time as well. So something like a very astute jaguar or a harpy eagle, which is one of my favorite birds by the way, can take pretty good advantage of this. They have really weak hind legs, so they're most vulnerable to predators during this time. About 50% of sloths actually get, you know, eh, you know, hit, hit the hay, hit the road on this uh, activity. I guess it would make sense to hold it if any time you needed a boom boom you risk life and limb. Scientists aren't fully sure as to why they do this, but one theory involves the life cycles of sloth moths, which as you can guess are moths that live in sloths exclusively in their hair. So, Number 3. Sloths can swim. Sloths can actually swim. What's even crazier about this is that sloths can't even walk. They kind of do this weird crawl thing if they ever find themselves on the forest floor post poop most likely, yet they can freaking swim. Like what? Not much more information is needed to be given on this. I just think it's pretty cool to be seeing sloths go for a dip. Uh, in my opinion, I think a river current can help a sloth move locations faster than anything else really. Number four, sloth hands. Sloth hands are a little neat because they're always in the closed position. It actually takes sloths some considerable effort to fully open or extend their claws by themselves. It's kind of like how an alligator can't open its mouth after it's forced closed, or like living your entire life as this outdated angry Arthur meme. This adaptation is very beneficial to sloths since they climb on trees for the majority of their lives and it's actually the reason why sloths can sleep on branches and whatnot because it doesn't take much effort for them to do it compared to say another ape such as a human or something. Number 5. Sloths grow moss on their bodies. Sloth fur has been found to be the home of many different organisms. Not only can sloth hair be the home of animals such as the aforementioned sloth moth, but all sorts of beetles, cockroaches, and even algae. 
It has been reported that sloth algae can be passed down from generation to generation because scientists have observed baby sloths having algae transferred to them from their mothers. I'm sure this is inadvertent because sloths, again, can only move about 40 yards a day, so I can only imagine how much parenting they actually do. Regardless, scientists haven't been fully able to confirm, but truly believe that the algae plays a key role in the well-being of sloths through perhaps some sort of symbiosis or a you scratch my back, I scratch your back sort of scenario, but really the algae is just kind of, you know, living on the sloth's back. Number six, sloth mating. Oh yeah, baby. Let me tell you a little bit about how these little lovemakers get it on. An interesting fact about sloth mating rituals is that as opposed to much of the rest of the animal kingdom, female sloths are the ones to broadcast their willingness to mate using a call which kind of sounds like Also, also, it has been observed that two-toed sloths exhibit more promiscuity amongst females and three-toed sloths have far less promiscuity amongst females, meaning that in a three-toed species, a single male can be responsible for fathering many new bebes, and in two-toed species, it's kind of a free-for-all, really, or, or as rowdy as you can get when you move at the pace of a turtle. And finally, number seven, giant sloths. There used to be some ginormous sloths that roamed the earth way back in the day. These sloths were known as ground sloths in the mammalian superorder Xenarthra, which kind of reminds me of Xenon. The largest of these extinct species were the Eremotherium and the Megatherium, which, while standing on their hind legs, stood to a height of about 4 meters or approximately 12 and a half feet tall. That's freaking taller than a polar bear standing on its hind legs. These species of sloth went extinct around 10,000 years ago, with the latest fossil records being found in Cuba. It's believed that the Caribbean giant sloths outlived being overhunted as compared to the mainland giant sloths. But then again, I was born in the 90s, and I have no freaking clue as to what really happened in the past up to a certain point, so take everything I say with a pinch of salt. Anyways. You can see ground sloth skeletons in museums, and I highly recommend that you do. Well, those were seven facts about sloths. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and here's a clip of my finished product. If you guys want to see any of my finished artworks, be sure to follow me on Instagram at BrandonCamiloArt. In the future, I might also do some sort of like, you know, giveaway or things like that on the Instagram, so definitely be sure to check it out. Also, leave a comment below suggesting what topic I should cover next in my Art Cyclopedia video series. I love to do animals, but I'm a sucker for knowledge, so I can cover almost any topic. Thanks for tuning in, peeps. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.